Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha K Geek XX Chic, and it is another trailer, guys. Marvel is just coming for my throat. They will not get off my neck this week. They've got the Captain Marvel trailer that dropped, and now the big, the granddaddy, let's be real, of all trailers. It's for Avengers 4. It's, well, they call it Avengers 4. I call it, you know, the 3.5, because let's face it, the Infinity War was the first half of the movie. But anyway, here we are. This is, it's for the foreseeable future, as far as Avengers films go, at least with the cast that we know and love. And the tagline they put on this is, part of the journey is the end. And that just, I don't know how to feel about it, because I'm really not ready to see some of my favorites like, you know, Robert Downey Jr. and potentially, you know, Chris Evans and uh, Chris, the other Chris who plays Thor, I can't think of his last name right now. I'm just really, it's sad to think that this might be the last time we see all of them do a film together, but we don't know what the future holds. At this point, we just know that the long journey we've been on that started with Iron Man all those years ago is going to come to an end. At least that arc is going to finally come to an end. So without further ado, let's jump in and see it because I feel like my, my, my edges are going to be snatched. So let's do it. Boop. Oh, the mask. They just start out with the mask. Yes, you touched that lovingly. This looks like a goodbye message, I'm not about it. If you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Part of the journey is the end. Just yep. for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. Oh, the ship. Food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. Wow. I be it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. Dear Pepper. It's always you. I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. Why with the with the dust? It still hurts. Thanos did exactly what he said he was gonna do. True. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. Oh my goodness! We lost. All Did us. we? Oh. We lost friends. We lost family. Who's this? We lost a part of ourselves. Oh no, you back! This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. What's gonna work? I don't know what it is. What is? Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. Stakes are high, okay? They are using, oh man, this graphic, y'all. It's coming back together, though. Coming back together. I watched Ant-Man so long ago, I forgot that he was well into the particle, oh god, I can't remember the name of it right now, that he, that's how he, he avoided it, because he wasn't actually in like this, oh my god, I mean, I knew, but I forgot, that was cool, wow, that was really just a teaser, I guess not really a teaser, I, it feels like a teaser, because we didn't get to see much, I mean, everything we saw was kind of exactly what we knew to be the case in the sense of, we know that Tony's out there. He's the only person who was left other than somebody else was with him. It was um, Gamora's sister. I can't think of her name right now. Nebula. It was him and Nebula that were left on that rock um, when everyone dis disintegrated. So did Tony go off on his own? I got questions. Did he just decide to go off on his own and tell Gamora to head back to Earth? Or, Anyways, I'm going too far into it, but that was nice. It, it definitely gives the tone, I think, of what we can expect from the film. It was very, you know, much like the, if any of you saw that wonderful compilation that came out about talking about the, oh gosh, what was it called? It just basically went through 
how sad it was to see the end of everything happening and it just kind of summarized a lot of Infinity War and it just the morose tone it's kind of sad and uh, I don't know I just 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 feel so like ah, especially with the news of Stan Lee passing away not that long ago it just kind of feels like the end of an era is coming with this film but I am so ready for it because it's also going to be a redemption story, right guys? We're going to see the Avengers come back from the biggest blow you could possibly get and having like half of them wiped out, not to mention all the L's that they took with Thanos. But Thanos is the one who's thinking he's sitting pretty now. So this is the perfect time for them to regroup and regather. And I'm really interested. It looks like the Ant-Man piece is going to be a huge part of it. And I'm really, I don't even know. I can't even think of how he's going to be the key, which I think is going to be the key to helping to reverse all this stuff. So that was a great trailer, guys. I feel like we're definitely going to get another one down the line that's going to have a little bit more scenes in it because I know that they finished filming the movie probably, I think, back in like October-ish, somewhere in there, I think I heard. And they always do a bunch of posts afterwards, but... I'm surprised they didn't really give us much footage outside of the Avengers. We didn't really see any footage, any battle footage, anything like that, but I guess it's kind of hard to show that without giving too much away about the final plot. So anyway, I think we're going to get another one, though. They did this with the first Avengers movie. We kind of got a little one, and then we got closer to the movie. We started to get some more of the scenes, and I feel like we're going to get that as well, probably in sometime in the early New Year, but I'm looking forward to it, guys. Like, I love this franchise as you already know and I felt like Infinity War was really really good but it was a lot it was like getting kicked in the gut repeatedly so I'm ready I loved at the end how they did the graphic of the Avengers with all that disintegrated parts coming back together so I think that's a little you know they're a little wink to us to let us know what we can expect in the film is everything going to go back exactly the way it was probably not but It'll be enough, I hope, to make us feel like it was all worth it in the end. So, what did you guys think of this trailer? How are you feeling about Avengers 4? Are you ready for this film to drop? Is April going to be too long to wait? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, guys, please click like. And if you want to see more from this geeky face, please click subscribe. Until next time, see ya!